so I'm starting the Van Dyke stitch over again. This is a small cross stitch you start with. And then you're going to come down below that cross stitch. Run through underneath both parts of that between the cross. And you notice I'm using the eye of the needle because it makes it a little easier, especially when you've got many strands of floss. And you come back up and again you can do this very close for a very tight stitch or you can do it much looser and you get something that looks kind of like a fish backbone But it does make a kind of a a kind of a braid down the center of the stitch. All right, we'll do one more, and then we'll look for an embellishment of it. Okay, this is an embellishment for Van Dyke stitch, and what I'm doing is I'm actually using two different colored threads with two different needles. So I'm doing one stitch in one color. And the next stitch in another color. So one stitch in the dark mauve here. And one in the bright yellow. And I unthreaded my thread there on the bright yellow one, so I have to rethread it. One stitch in the bright yellow. One stitch in the dark mauve. One stitch in the bright yellow. And you get an interesting two-toned look there. We'll do one more stitch here, maybe two, maybe a couple more, and then we'll be done with this. And this is the Van Dyke stitch. Um, you can also vary the width, so you could do this some part of it 
very wide across the seam and another part of it narrow across the seam. And it would give you an interesting look to do that. And again, you can do this very tight up against each other so that these little spines are hardly showing and mostly you see the braid or you can do it like this where the spines are showing more and you, but you still get the braid down the center of the. Mm -hmm.